as Chesterton said, you know, if, if it's a symbol to be damned with it, right? In the same way that like, if the, if Holy Communion is just a symbol, then what's the point in it, right? And this is the kind of, this is the same conversation that I had with myself, like, what's the point of baptism? Like, why? Mm -hmm. It's an outward symbol. So really, that doesn't make any difference. Like, why couldn't we just baptize ourselves in that circumstance, right? Because I think you and I would both agree that one can't just baptize oneself. Like, most Baptists or most Calvinists, most, most Reformed yeah. Protestants would say that you can't just be baptized by yourself. But if it's just a symbol, then why, why on earth can't I? Does it, ha does it have a sub substantial meaning? And this comes back to the whole point, like, if Holy Communion is a symbol, then I'm com it's completely irrelevant. If baptism is a symbol, it's completely irrelevant. If the sacraments are a symbol, they're all completely irrelevant. They have to have some spiritual meaning. And again, this comes back to scripture, which would argue, which doesn't, which clearly states, as I said before, if you are not baptized with water and spirit, you are not, you, you know, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. That, again, that was such a stumbling block for me. The word of God says in John chapter three, starting off in verse one, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, the word again implies that you are doing something what? Another time or once more. Contextually, a birth is taking place again, or another time, or once more. Jesus said, except a man be born, watch this, again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So the question remains, how and when were you born the first time? Personally, I was born physically on April 5th, 1993 in Providence, Rhode Island. If you're watching this, you too were born physically at some appointed time in the past. So our first birth is obviously a physical birth. Look at verse 4. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Notice that Nicodemus interprets Christ in the physical sense. Evidenced by verse 4, he mistakenly assumes that Jesus is referring to a second physical birth. Again, he says, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Now look at verse five. Jesus answered, verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus clarifies his initial statement by introducing two births, a being born of water and a being born of the spirit. We have a primary birth and a secondary birth, a being born and a being born again. Now, the first birth is of the flesh, a physical birth. The second birth is of the spirit, a spiritual birth. Look at verse six. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, physical. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit, spiritual. Verses five and six are a clear contrast that clarifies the first and second birth. Being born of water is being born of the flesh or being born physically. And being born of the spirit is in reference to the second birth or being born again. Now, the question should be, how can I be born again? Well, the Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 1, Whosoever believeth, don't miss that, that Jesus is the Christ is born of God or born again. The believer is born of God. The believer is born again. We are born again by grace through faith alone. We are not born again through water baptism, through church attendance, through good works or self-reformation. The moment an individual places their faith on Christ, they are born again into the family of God, thus becoming a child of God, a son of God, establishing a bond that cannot be broken. Notice what the Bible says in John chapter 1, starting off in verse 12. 
But as many as received him, referring to Jesus Christ, to them gave he power, notice this, to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born, verse 13, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, notice this, but of God. Jesus said, ye must be born again. And how are we born again? By grace through faith alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be born again.